Hello, it's Scousemouse here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Let's go! Yeah, so last time we defeated a boss after destroying another reactor, and then we've met this little flower girl that we did briefly see in one of the cutscenes earlier in the game. So, we meet again. Don't you remember me? Yeah, I remember you. Yeah, you were selling flowers. <laughs> You're the slum drunk. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go for the nice option. We're definitely going to be the nice guy in this playthrough. Oh, I'm so happy. You didn't buy any flowers from me, though. Well, that's okay. Say, do you have any materia? Yes, some. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is so special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Good for nothing? You probably just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are, meeting again, right? I don't mind. Now that you mention it, we don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... Ares. I mean, some people say Ares. Ares. I don't know. How are we going to say I, Ares. Ares. I say. People are going to tell me off because it's not the Japanese pronunciation or something, but that's the way I always said it as a kid. I'm Ares, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. The name's Cloud. Me? I do a little bit of everything. Say, Cloud, have you ever been a bodyguard? You do do everything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here. Take me home. Okay, I'll do it. But it'll cost you. Well then, let's see. How about if I go out with you once? I don't know who you are, but you don't know me. I know you. Oh yeah, I know you. That uniform. Hey sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, you Shinra spy. Reno, want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. Yeah, that's the least of the worries, isn't it? Let's get out the back way anyway. The exit's back here. Them all having a chuckle with their shoulders. <laughs> a whale of a time. They were Makawais. Yeah, all right, back to work, back to work. Who's he with his cool hairdo? Oh, and don't step on the flowers. Hey, Reno, you just stepped on them. They're all ruined. All right, let's get out of here. Whoop. I always screw this bit up. <laughs> I'll explain how it works in a minute. There they are, over there. Cloud, that one. I know, looks like they aren't gonna let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? Then there's only one thing left. There he is. This way. All right. I'll hold them off. Oh, she can't make the jump. Right. Make sure they don't get through. The ancient's getting away. Attack! Attack! <gasps> ah! There he is. Think we killed them? They shouldn't have put up a fight, I say. Cloud, help! So there's all these... Damn. What's that? Hold on a minute. Actually, let's tell it to run. All right. So there's all these barrels up here, and we can push certain ones off, and it will... Oh, we got random fights as well. So we can push certain barrels off, and if we push the right ones off at the right time, then they'll kind of fall off onto the, um... onto the, like, heads of the bad guys, or they'll roll downstairs and knock them out or whatever. Home Alone style but I never know which ones are the right ones to press. If you don't kind of do the right one, then it means that the bad guys catch you up with Ares and you just have to have a little fight instead. So it's no big deal either way, but it's quite cool. I have occasionally, by pure luck, got the right one. Right, is it this one maybe? Push the barrel? Yes, let's see if this one works. No! See, if there was someone on the stairs, then we would have knocked them out there. But there wasn't. Oh, Cloud, what are you doing? Yeah, so now Ares is going to have to have a little fight. Ooh. And there's a few little confrontations like this where... You know, you can avoid the battle if you kind of throw the right but Avoid the battle if you throw the right barrel. Chances of me <laughs> picking the right one are slim, though. 
Thankfully, these are dead easy fights. As you can see, they're only knocking off two damage, so... You know. It's more just a time-saving exercise, really, to kind of... If you get the right barrel. Although doing it this way does give Ares some experience, so arguably this is the better way of doing it. <laughs> On this is our first go as well of using Ares and the hair kind of being part of the team. She is, I believe, in fourth place in the vote, so she's not at the moment kind of in the top two spots to be a member of the team, but if there was a bit more support, you know, she's within reach of catching up she could make it to the top two if uh, if people go for it. Yeah. I love Ares. Cloud, help! Ah, oh, see, that's the staircase. We're gonna have to just tell her to fight them. That's the staircase where we've just pushed a barrel and it rolled down those stairs. I love, by the way, that the the kind of backgrounds change. I know it's it's you know it's expected. But the, the kind of background of the battle scenes change dependent on what area of the game you're in. Obviously now we're inside this kind of the church in the slums. So you can see in the background all the kind of stained glass windows and the staircase that she's nearby and the kind of that massive tube thing in the center of the room that I have no idea what it is. Yeah, all those little details just make it perfect. Have it, Sunny. Don't mess with Ares. Yeah, so remember, we are kind of being Ares. Oh, she, oh, she can make the jump now. <laughs> remember, we're being kind of Ares' bodyguard. We need to try and help her get home safely. Ares, this way. And in return, we'll get to go on a date with her. Seems fair. Come on. Go along this plank. Are you following me? Ah. Now we switch to the peaceful music. <laughs> I mean, I always thought this was odd. Look at the size of us compared to the, the building. The perspective is a little, uh, out. Ah, they're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've been after you? No. They're the Turks. Oh, they're the Turks. <laughs> Hmm. The Turks are an organization in Shinra. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. They're also involved in a lot of dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know. They look like it, but why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. I think they believe I have what it takes to be in soldier. Maybe you do. Do you want to join? I don't know. But I don't want to get caught by those people. See if we can get her back home safely. Wait! Wait, I said! Oh, oh. Slow down! Don't leave me! Funny. I thought you were cut out to be a soldier. Oh, you're terrible. Hey, Cloud. Were you ever in Soldier? I used to be. How'd you guess? Your eyes. They have a strange glow. That's the sign of those who've been infused with Mako. A mark of Soldier. But how did you know about it? Oh, nothing. What is it with, uh... People love our eyes. Oh, Phew! Finally made it off. Now what? My house is over here. Hurry before he comes. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, hang on, let's, let's have a little. Can we have a little nosy down this way? See if there's any, uh... No, okay. Yeah, you, you'll find kind of items dotted about the place and material dotted about the place. And I can't remember off the top of my head where every single one is. So when in doubt, just look everywhere. Right, come on then. Let's get you home, missus. Ah! Oh no, these guys, these little thieves, they steal stuff from you. Stole a potion! 
I think if you kill them, then you'll get back whatever they steal. But what they tend to do is steal stuff and then run away. And if they run away, then they keep it. Oh no! At least they only stole a potion. <clears throat> Sometimes they can steal a lot more than that and it can be really annoying. <laughs> I'll show you the rest of this city another time. Or next episode, certainly. But I think it's through here. Yeah, and this is Ares' house. And if you look over on the right hand side, you can see a little purple glowing materia. I'll go I'll go nab that actually before we um before we carry on. Ooh, looks like a potion or something over there as well. So that's an ether and cover materia. So what that does is kind of if if say if I attach it to Cloud, then he will some of the time take like take the damage on behalf of someone else. So if I had it on Cloud, which we will do, I'll stick it on Cloud. In fact, we got a Titan Bangle, didn't we, after killing that boss? So let's stick that on for a bit of better defense. And have we got any accessories? No, we haven't. Okay, yeah, so you attach cover. Ooh, we've got our uh, materia back, haven't we? Because it automatically just came off uh, Tifa and Barrett. So yeah, so cover. If someone was to attack Ares, then some of the time, Cloud will kind of jump in and take the damage instead. I'm home, Mum! This is Cloud, my bodyguard. Bodyguard? You mean you were followed again? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm alright. I had Cloud with me. Thank you, Cloud. So, what are you gonna do now? Is Sector 7 far from here? I wanna go to Tifa's bar. Is Tifa a girl? Yeah. A girl friend? Hmm. <laughs> well, what line do we take here? Do we want to get friendly with Ares or not? Let's say no way. Leave our options open. Um, and she isn't a girlfriend anyway, so it would be a lie to say she was. <laughs> you don't have to get that upset. Well, that's nice. Let's see. Sector 7. I'll show you the way. You gotta be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. Well, don't know. Getting help from a girl. A girl? What do you mean by that? You expect me to just sit by and listen after hearing you say something like that? Mom! I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. But dear... Oh, I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind. But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. I just love... How can you not love this music? It's just... Amazing. That glow in your eyes. You're from Soldier, right? Yeah. Rather, I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but would you please leave here tonight without telling Ares? Soldier. The last thing Ares needs is to get her feelings hurt again. Okay. We're gonna do the right thing. Sneak off in the night. Save her getting into trouble. You need to go through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little dangerous, so you better get some rest tonight. Seem pretty tired. Hmm? Huh? I haven't slept in a bed like this in a long time. Oh yeah? Who are these voices? Ever since that time. My, how you've grown. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down and had a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have an older girlfriend. One that'll take care of you. I think that would be the perfect type for you. I'm not interested. I must have fallen asleep. Sector 7 is past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. Now, I'll just grab this. You wouldn't know, I guess, if you hadn't played the game before, but that little white sack is an item. You'll see those dotted about the place. Potion. Phoenix down. Nothing major, but, you know... Can't turn down a freebie. Try and go slowly. We don't want to wake her up, do we? So don't run. Because we're trying to get out the... Uh, trying to get out the house without Ares knowing. We don't want to cause her any more trouble, do we? Right, so... Past Sector 6, she said. So we'll come back to this city later. But for now... We want to go... Oh! What?! You're up bright and early. 
<laughs> How could I ask you to go along when I knew it would be so dangerous? Are you done? You have to go through the slum in Sector 6 to get to Tifa's 7th to get to Tifa's 7th heaven. I'll take you there. Come on. I guess she's coming along with us. <laughs> it's quite tricky this if you don't know kind of which bits are background, which bits you can walk through. So you have to go over here. I'll show you after this battle. Oh, okay. It looked a lot worse than it was. Let's get a bit of magic on the go. Bolt. And just a good old whack from Cloud. I have to see if I can give some armor or something to uh, Ares. Something that can kind of allow her to carry a bit more materia. Ideally, I would like her to be the one who does the cure. Because she's not very good at attacking. Um, but at the same time... Oh! I must have accidentally used my liver break. Oh wow, this guy's really putting up a fight, isn't he? I thought that liver break would batter him. Yeah, she's not that great at attacking, so I'd like her to be the one who does the healing, really. So that I'm not wasting all of um, Cloud's turns by healing. We'll see what equipment we've got afterwards. Oh dear, this is going to be painful. Thankfully... Oh no, it wasn't too bad. Thankfully, uh, Cloud has just done a cure. Yeah, so I think I probably will do some grinding in this game, kind of leveling up. But I'll do it off camera, because, you know, it's boring to watch. Do me just doing hundreds of fights. Well, not hundreds. I'm not going to go nuts. But, you know, it's boring to watch just doing loads and loads of fights. Um... But leveling up is fun, you know, it, it, yes, it, it makes the game easier as well, but there we go, so you can go up that plank. It's pretty kind of hard to know that if you didn't know it. Almost every single time I've completed this game, I've done it with no grinding at all. So it certainly isn't a requirement to kind of, you know, to be able to do it. The gate to Sector 7's in there. Thanks. I guess this is goodbye. You gonna be alright going home? Oh no. Whatever will I do? Isn't that what you want me to say? Should we take it to Sector 7 with us? I could do that. But won't I be in your way? What do you mean, in the way? I'll think. Can we take a break? Yeah, so there are certain RPGs where I think it's, it's almost a requirement that you do have to grind. You know, a couple come to mind. Um, Dragon Quest VIII on the PlayStation 2. Really good RPG. I can't believe it's still here. Really good RPG, but you pretty much, certainly at the very start of the game, the first boss you come to, you just will not beat him without going away and grinding up first. Cloud, over here. But yeah, in this game, there's no requirement for grinding. I'd be doing it just purely for fun. It's fun to get your kind of, your HP, you know, it's fun to go up levels, I think, and just get stronger and, you know, yeah. So we'll do some of that off camera. What rank were you? Rank? You know, in soldier. Oh, I was first class. Just the same as him. Same as who? My first boyfriend. You were serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. Oh, and that is our first taster of a chocobo. Pulling a horse and cart. Well, not a horse and cart. A chocobo and cart. Huh? Hey, back there. Tifa. Is that Tifa in the back of the cart? That girl in the cart was Tifa? Where was she going? She looked kind of odd. Wait. I'll go on alone. You go home. <sighs> she just doesn't listen, does she? <laughs> oh, well. Eager beaver. Where has she gone now? A funky new town to explore. That's two new places we've got to explore now. 
This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. So we've got to find Tifa fast. Right, okay, let's find where the save point is. And we will leave it, there we go, there it is. Right, uh, so we're going to save it for today and leave it here. And so next time we're going to find out what Tifa was doing in the back of that kind of horse and cart. Not horse and cart, it's the chocolate own cart. We're going to find out what Tifa was doing and see if we need to save her or not. Yeah, so we met a brand new character for the team, Ares. We took her back home thinking that we were just going to leave her there. But no, she's decided to uh, attach herself to Cloud and she's coming with us no matter what. So next time we're going to figure out what is going on with Tifa. So don't forget to share and like the video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Please don't kill me Emma.